guys. Um, so today I'm here this morning, 6 a.m., bright and early, bright eyed and bushy tailed. Um, <laughs> when I'm big, I should you know. Um, I'm here to teach you how to get Redkin ready. Um, number one, black on black on black. Get your Redkin attire ready. So I got my airport outfit on, black on black, comfy sneakers. Yes, Nike, come through. Um, and then I have my black pocketbook, my black suitcase, folded up with all my black clothes, my Redkin name tag. I'm ready. Number two to be Redkin ready is literally cut the bullshit. We're going to dive right into what inspired me to do this video, besides the black clothes and the Redkin everything. Number two is the Redkin spirit. And I just had such a revelation this morning of why I work for this company, why I am so excited to be a part of it, and it's so simple. In our classes, we have our setup, and we have our flip charts, and we basically like set the whole class up for the day and let um, basically who's joining us like know what Redkin's about. And Redkin basically is just about self-growth and self-love. Like I'm learning that Redkin is like creating a better version of every person it touches. And what I mean by that is self-love and self-growth should be a daily, weekly, monthly, minutely thing. And I got inspired, I was basically watching a bunch of like Jim Carrey motivational speaking videos and it just, ugh, like you know when you hear something and it just touches you and you're just like, yes, yes, that's how I feel, like that's how people should treat each other, that's how this world should run. Like I was like, oh my god, like who would have known? Like the mask, like just so insightful. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna teach people how to be Redkin ready. And Redkin wants you to be a good person. I'm like, I'm so excited. So I am all packed, I have all my black outfits, I'm like ready, I'm ready to learn, I'm ready to be motivated, inspired, because I'm going to Vegas and we have a sem seminar. And it's basically just like teaching us just all these amazing things on how to be better educators and, you know, shed light on the world. But so cutting to the chase, I am on the self-growth, self-love journey. And I just want to share the message that Redkin shares with me every day that I feel like inspires me. Um, and I just want to pass it along and maybe like it'll inspire you to be Redkin ready. You don't have to work for Redkin. You don't have to use Redkin. You don't even have to like be a part of it. Like, but I encourage you to just take the message from this video on how to be Redkin ready. Um, and maybe like it'll just help you in your day to day. Number one with how to be Redkin ready. We always teach, teach learning requires energy. So with learning requiring energy, that means like give the world the energy that you want back. So if you are down in the dumps all the time or you're just feeling sorry for yourself all the time, like it's okay, we go through that. As long as you can pull yourself out of it and give yourself that energy back that you deserve and a pat on the back or, you know, dusting your shoulders off, <laughs> just like going for a run and just getting that energy back in your body or dancing or saying whatever it may be, like learning requires energy and so learning to self-love yourself and self-grow, it's going to require energy. So just give yourself what you deserve and what energy you want back. Um, number two, results, habits, and beliefs. So we teach that basically... Everything can give you a result by the habit that you usually have and the belief system of that habit, so on, so on and so forth. We all have habits. I believe if I eat five small meals a day and go running, I'm going to lose weight. That's, my, that's what I believe. The habit of that, if I go running and eat small meals or five meals a day, um, my belief is that I will lose weight. The habit that has come from that is I keep doing it because I'm getting results from it. So I've lost weight because of my belief and then my habit of doing it. So with that said, basically if you want good things to happen to you, you want to run a marathon or you want to learn something new, you have to start out by like the habit and the belief system and therefore you'll get a result. But know that there is a hundred thousand million ways to get the same result. or there's a thousand million different ways to choose your belief system or your habit. So basically, like we just teach everybody to like just be number three. I would say would be open with 
your belief system that you originally have and the habits that you've created for yourself because you know what like all those habits and beliefs can lead to the same result and we can all win there's enough room for everybody to win all the time every day so yeah number three is be open um being open is just like letting the world in letting people in um Letting yourself, like, forgiving yourself, like, just all those great things. Like, I just feel like the more open you are, the more you're ready to receive. Number four would be mistakes are okay. With that openness, you're probably going to fall on your face. You're probably going to experience things you don't like. You're probably going to have fear and get discouraged. And, like, all those things, like, those are fine. Like, mistakes are okay. Like, all of it is okay. It's all good. That's how learning happens. There's going to be a rainy day and like it gets better. Like mistakes are great. Just know that without those mistakes or without those rainy days, you wouldn't appreciate your triumphs and your successes. Like, oh, I'm, oh. you know, when you just have those moments of just like epiphanies, like why? Like I work for this company for a reason. Everything in life happens for a reason, I believe. And like, this setup every frigging day, every class I teach, or every time I'm at my salon, or like every time I do a flip chart, like I write these down and I didn't even put two and two together. It's so much bigger than Redkin. I mean, Redkin's in like a bajillion countries and like all over the world and is like number one in everything. Slow cap, but like it just ugh, it means so much more. It's so cool. Keep going, Jack. Keep going. Number five, I guess is be responsible so yeah you you're open you made mistakes now just be responsible for everything like be responsible for you you are in charge of you like if something makes you sad or something upsets you or someone does this or someone does that know at the end of the day all you can do is change your response all you can be in charge of is your response so be responsible for you just own it so, number six don't lay blame don't justify and don't deny it if you fuck up, admit it. It's the worst that's gonna happen. You're gonna feel better. It's gonna get off your chest. Like just, just don't like don't blame the like, god. Oh, there was traffic today, so I was late. Oh, there was this. Like yeah, those are all things. Those things happen. But you know what I mean? Just like own it. At the end of the day, like just don't don't do it. Just don't do it. Seven. Number seven is outcome, style, and method. So this is always one that I probably have the most difficult time kind of explaining to like who I'm teaching to or even to myself like don't get me wrong like all of these steps that I'm talking about like yes I'm having such epiphanies and yes it's like it's making it come like full circle for me but like it's hard to remember to do every day like self-love self-growth self-appreciation like there are, it's not an easy thing to remember every day every believe in progress not perfection and so when I think of like outcome style and method is like you have your own style everyone does there's a way that you dance you smile you take a selfie like everyone has their style your method of it the lighting that you use the dance moves that you do the classes that you take those all are your methods to having that style and then because of those there's an outcome so it goes hand in hand for me with the results habits belief but like I just think it's so cool like know that like you have your own style you have your own outcome and like you have your method of doing it Again, that's what makes the world go round. That's why I love, like, what I'm teaching people and what I'm being taught. Like, it's like, it's okay to be you. It's okay to be unique. It's, please do it. Be you. Like, do not be somebody else. Do not be a, a clone of something that's not, like, true to your heart and true to your soul. And, like, just yeah. every day. Like, I want you to be Redkin ready. And that just means, like, be ready for you. Love you. Like, take you in like just be ready for life because you deserve the best life to live you deserve to just like get out there and like take some of these tips take some of these steps because it's like said in every self-help book it's said in I don't even know why it's help, self-help it's just self-growth and self-love love. and I've gone to retreats that have taught that it's like why do we make it like help like it's not a cry for help it's like you're just actually like taking care of you and we do not take enough time to do that so with that said, I'm just going to leave you guys with probably a link below to the speeches that I was listening to this morning from Jim Carrey because, I don't know, sometimes like when you're just taking a shower or anything, just have something in the background that's just feeding you just some like insight on just the big picture. You know what I mean? Like we are like not even like a microscopic little bead on this like whole galaxy. Like it sounds crazy to think about, but it's true. 
Um, on top of that speech that I was listening to, I'm actually reading this book right here. I got this from the paper source in Market Street in Linfield. Um, it's You Are a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. Um, so I'll be reading this on my plane ride, um, probably like halfway through. And like, it's just, you know when things just connect and you know when like I'm getting on a plane and I'm going to this like, to this big seminar with like my friends and people that I love and people that inspire me and like my mentors, it's like so cool, but like, just continue to take time for you and reflect and paint and read and dance and sing, whatever you need to do. But, you know, yes, this is YouTube and yes, this is like social media and like, you know, we're on it. And But just be careful how much time you spend on looking at other people's lives and looking at, and compa I should say, looking and comparing other people's lives and like, let other people inspire you. Like, give credit where credit's due. Just take a moment and like, if you're gonna be spending time on that, make it like positive time but just remember to always bring it back to just like simplicity like it's great we have all these resources now but like get back in touch with you and like find time to just spend each day and just be red can ready be you ready i don't care who you are john john smith like whoever you are be you ready i hope that you have an awesome awesome day um don't forget that i have my giveaway from my last video, I want everyone to win, but I'm going to be picking one winner. Um, September 26th, I'm going to pull the winner, but it ends the 22nd. Um, so I will link that again down below. Um, just remembering to subscribe, like, follow, comment. Um, all the instructions will be in there, and that $180 worth of product will be for you to follow with that self-love, self-growth, everything, like making your hair feel good. like. Confidence is key, people, and, like, we're all working on ourselves every day. And if you're not, I hope this inspires you to take time to work on yourself. So thank you, Redkin, for inspiring me yet again. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. What do you guys think? I don't know. I don't know. Gotta figure this out. What?